Hi, I am Mali, and welcome to the channel. I just got access to Dali 3, and I was utterly blown away by how they integrated Dali with ChatGPT. Have a look at these images. It is not about the image aesthetics. It is more about how you can generate them easily and quickly. I did not use a single prompt to generate these images. The way we are used to prompting in generative AI has wholly changed. Let me show you the correct way to get accurate results using Dali and ChatGPT. Before I show you some workflow techniques, let me briefly explain what happened here. Prompt engineering, as we know it, is dead. When you mix an AI model trained with linguistic texts and a generative AI model trained with images, you get a match made in heaven, and that's precisely what Dali 3 and ChatGPT are about. You no longer need to come up with a prompt. I have tested this extensively on various concept arts, and you get exactly what you are asking for every time. If you are a ChatGPT Plus user, you will get the Dali 3 option, which is still in beta. Click on it to enable image generations. Let's try something simple. Say logo for a restaurant. Here, I am not looking for anything specific, although you can be. I am just trying and testing what the AI can come up with to bounce some ideas. Notice how I just wrote croc burgers. I did not mention that I want a crocodile eating a burger as a logo. ChatGPT reads the images in the following order. Once you click a specific image, it will give you the prompt it generated. ChatGPT understood what I meant by crock burgers. It accurately wrote a prompt for me. Now, let's say you want to build on this image. You can copy the prompt or type in image 3 and whatever changes you want for that specific image. I am just asking it to change the text to Hungry Burgers. It doesn't give me the same image because what I asked it to change was a significant element of the image. I will show you some examples where it changes only specific elements, maintaining the overall image. This is dependent on what you are asking it to change. I wanted to see how well it can manipulate text, unfortunately, this is the limit. It cannot distinguish and color each text differently. What it did here was merge the text. So let's revert it back to Hungry Burgers, but in red. and it got the text partially right. I can take this image and put it in Photoshop for further editing. This was a simple test, and it shows you how intuitive the AI can be. Let's try something complicated. I purposely type it this way as I don't want to use a prompt. I have had a lot of trouble getting the exact color and design when doing some fashion work in mid-journey. I want a Victorian-style dress with some fractal floral patterns on it. Notice how I have separated the pattern color and the dress color. You can be extremely specific here. What I have written is still very generic. I did not mention the aspect ratio. You can generate an image in square, tall, or wide aspect ratios. In a fashion design, I need a tall aspect ratio. The AI just understood that. Let's focus on the four points the AI understood. It has given me four image styles, photo, illustration, oil painting, and a render. I am specifically looking for something given to me in the fourth image. I did not know I had to use the word render in the prompt to generate this style. I will try to direct the AI to showcase a single mannequin instead of three and build up from there. 
check out the prompt it generated. It accurately took the colors for the individual elements and applied them correctly. Try doing this in mid-journey, and you will go round and round in regenerations. Mid-journey will give you highly aesthetic images with no accuracy or control. I can get this accuracy in stable diffusion, however, that's still a technical challenge with the hardware requirements and finding the suitable checkpoint trained model. Now, I will tell the AI to isolate the dress into a single dress instead of three. Again, I am just using simple language and no commands or prompts. Now that it has understood what I want, I can make changes to it. Before I move on to the next sample workflow, check out this trick. I asked it to make a simple linen shirt with short sleeves and a top pocket. And it gives me this simple shirt. I am asking it to change the color to light blue. And it does precisely that. Then I asked it to make the sleeves longer. Finally, I wanted to remove the top pocket. And look at the level of control you are getting with a simple chat. I have no idea why this hasn't taken off, but being able to tell the AI in such a straightforward manner, you seriously have to give credit to what they have done here. It ultimately accelerates your workflow. For jewelry design, let's go for an engagement ring with a delicate Italian design, 22 karat gold, and a 1 karat rosecut solitaire diamond. These are pretty generic. Again, it gives me two photos, an illustration, and a render. Let's redesign the ring with a honeycomb hollow pattern in the first photo. Beautiful, and see how it maintains the same perspective even in a photo. Let's challenge it and see if it can adopt this same design in a bracelet. And it does a beautiful job. See how the first bracelet design is so similar to the ring design. In my opinion, even the illustration and the rendered images are excellent. Let's try rendering a 3D elephant surfing in the ocean. Okay, these are cute. The first one is like an actual 3D render. However, the second and the third ones are what I like. Another thing that you can do is change the weather and the time. So if I ask it to change the time of the day to evening with a sunset, it will exactly do that and you can define it more precisely. It does work well. As I said before, it will use whatever it finds best if you don't mention the aspect ratio. And if you don't like the wide aspect ratio here, you can ask it to change the aspect ratio to square. 
This can be a bit glitchy when asking it to switch from a wide to a tall one. Most of the time, it just rotated the image to a 90 degree angle. But going from a wide to a square post generation or from a square to a tall is not an issue. In one of the previous Midjourney videos, I talked about how to use math in Midjourney prompting. I learned most of the math formulas and what it does precisely via ChatGPT. Therefore, I wanted to try out an interior design by just telling it the math formula, which I know has quite a few subsets. Surprisingly, it used four different subsets and generated the images for me. I gave it a general idea that I wanted an interior design concept for a spa reception along with a tropical location like an island. I asked it to use the Fibonacci sequence for the interior decor. I also mentioned the atmosphere should give a calm and tropical vibe. Let's focus on the prompt to understand better the Fibonacci math subset it used. In the first image, I can see the golden ratio literally designed on the floor, and it made the desk curved and aligned as per the Fibonacci sequence. Here, it used seashell mural art on the wall, a classic Fibonacci spiral design. However, the seating arrangement needs some improvements. I don't like this one at all. I do see the spiral design illusion from the stairs to the ceiling, but I don't see it being practical. And this last one is supposed to have the sequence subtly integrated into the fabric patterns. Unfortunately, I cannot see the details. Now, I want to design an actual spa massage room interior based on the second image. And this is precisely where Dao Li excels over Midjourney. So you can see how quickly I got these, and the second image has the same seashell mural art, but on a smaller scale. It cannot do humans as realistic as Midjourney, but it can do photography pretty well, including editing. You can ask it to change the coloring of the Aurora Borealis. And I actually don't need Photoshop to do this. So it does change the terrain slightly, but it's pretty much consistent, more like a subtle variation. Another example. It generated an image of a cabin. I just asked it to change the cabin to a lighthouse, and it regenerated this image. They are not precisely the same, but the variation is very subtle. And it's kinda okay for a generative AI to do this. You can also use this to create coloring book images, game assets, graphic comics, and much more. For example, I managed to get some concept designs for a perfume bottle print ad. The conclusion is that Dali is still in beta, and hopefully, it will just get better. It also saves time in your workflow because it is accurate and understands you without requiring complex prompting. The number of regenerations is drastically reduced as well. Until next time.